Hey there, my name is Kelly Dale and I'm owner of Off the Beaded Path located in Forest City, North Carolina. I had several requests this year for watch bands. People wanted to make watch bands for somebody for Christmas. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a watch band. I'm going to be doing a stitched watch band. I call it a daisy band because they look like little flowers that we're going to make. You're going to be learning triangle weave. Now, to me, watches are one of the very trickiest things that you could ever make because you have to get the sizing just right. Normally, if I'm making it for myself, I'll use a toggle clasp or whatever because then that way I know it fits me because I can sit there and try it on myself. If I'm going to make it as a gift, I normally either make the band a stretchy band or I actually do the band um, with a lobster claw and extender chain on the other side. So that way if you make it a little too snug, people can make it whatever size they want to and then you don't have to be worried about it. But for today's video, what you're going to need is 48 six millimeter pearls, some size 11 seed beads, 56 four millimeter bicones, I'm going to be using about five yards of thread total, six pound fire line, a size 12 beading needle. You're going to need a watch face, a clasp of your choice, and two wire protectors. And the wire protectors are optional, but they do serve uh, help you in the long run as far as making this a good watch that people will be able to wear for a while. The biggest thing for people to understand, especially about stitched watch bands, they are not for everyday wear. They're for occasional wear. If you wear this watch every day, you know, of course, like anything else, it's going to wear out and it's going to break. That is, if you're going to wear it every day. Uh, a stitched watch band is made just basically for, um, for occasional wear, you know, like once a week or two days a week, you know, something like that. So just be aware of that as you go through. But I also have some wonderful tutorials on watches that I've been um, posting on our blog, which is offthebeadedpath.blogspot.com. And so far in the last two weeks, I've posted a um, interchangeable stretchy watch band, and I have posted a um, mother's or grandmother's bracelet tutorial for Christmas. So you may want to check out the blog over the next few weeks as I'm going to try to post some more ideas that I can't necessarily get videos made for. But get your materials together and we'll get started. For today's watch, I'm going to be using some 6mm white pearls, some 4mm crystal AB bicones, and a size 11 silver line crystal seed bead. I've made two other samples here to show you, and I really, really like these. This is using a pink with a rose, um, they call it rose jade bicone, and then this is a gray pearl with a silver bicone in the Thunder Polish. So as you can see, and you want to use a watch face, it'll kind of accent whatever you're going to work on. So as you can see, the watch pin's really pretty. And the good thing about it is watch faces become are becoming very more readable uh, everywhere that you go. Um, you'll find find them at any craft store, any website, pretty much, and they come in all different shapes and sizes. But the first thing that you want to do when you get your watch face is if it has, you want one with a single ring on it. And what you want to do is if it has any kind of jump rings on it like this one has, you actually want to go ahead and take those jump rings off. Now, on the video or on my tutorial on the blog, you leave the rings on because you want those are coming very handy for what you're doing. But for this, you'll want to take those rings off. Now, I'm going to, th I've threaded my needle onto about two and a half yards of thread. Um, you may want to work with about three yards if you, can, if you feel comfortable with it. But the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up four size 11 seed beads. And I'm going to go through the loop, one loop of my watch, it doesn't matter which one, but I'm going to go through the loop, pick up four size 11 seed beads, and one 6 millimeter round. And I'm going to pull those until I get down to my tail here, and I'm going to take the tail and the working thread and I'm going to tie them together into a couple of good knots. And you want to be careful not to get the seed bead caught up in the knot. I'm 
I'm going to go back through all the beads I just added again. And I'll zoom in just a little bit here to see if you can see a little bit better. There we go. Yeah. I'm going to go through all four seeds, through the watch face, all four seeds, and then through the pearl again. You want to do this as many times as your uh, I, I normally do this about four to five times, the reinforcement step, because the biggest problem with breakage and watches when you do a stitch watch like this is that the, um, the band or the thread constantly rubs up against the inside of this little watch face part here, or the loop. So you want to be careful and uh, just reinforce it as many times as you can. So go back through reinforce this loop, um, I would say at least three more times. I've reinforced and I went ahead and took my tail and stitched my tail through and trimmed it off so that way it'll be out of my way. So you can do that at this point also. To start out, we're going to make our first circle. So you want to pick up five pearls. So one, two, three, four, and five. Every circle that you make is going to consist of six beads total. The one you're going to, you're coming out of now is considered the first one, even though it's connected to the base. Then you're adding five more for a total of six. You want to make a circle, so you're going to come back through the same bead that you're coming out of to make that circle. Go through it and pull. And that's going to give you a circle of six beads. Go back through and reinforce the circle once more. By reinforcing the circle, a lot of times I try and get out of stuff, you know, having to go back through and reinforce stuff like that right when you're doing it. But it helps a lot when you're doing the actual triangle weave on the top. Um, to go through and reinforce it first so it'll keep your circle together for you. So here's your circle. You're going to pick up one size 11, one 4 millimeter, one size 11, one 4 millimeter, and one size 11. So an 11, 4, 11, 4, and 11. You're coming out of the six millimeter pearl here on the base. So I want to come back around through the same bead to make a circle. And now when you pull, the beads that you just added sit on top of the pearl. I'm going to take my needle and I'm going to come through the seed bead and pearl that I just added. So I'm just going to go right up through the seed bead and pearl right above my pearl. I'm going to pick up a size 11 seed bead, a 4 millimeter, and a size 11 seed bead. So an 11, a 4, and an 11. I'm going to come to the next pearl and I'm going to come back towards that pearl, or back through that pearl, going towards the beads I just added. So I'm going to come back through it, just like this. So here was my first pearl I started with. I'm coming out of the bicone, and I'm going to come back through the pearl, the very next pearl coming back towards the beads I just added. And pull. And when you pull, that gives you now three bicones on the top. I'm going to take the needle and to get into position to, position to the next circle, I'm going to go through the original seed bead and crystal that I came out of a minute ago, through the three that I just added, so I'm just going to continue on through the seed bead, the four millimeter, and the seed bead that I just added. And then I'm going to continue on through the very next pearl in my circle. So 
So, so far, this is what you should have. Coming out of this pearl, I'm going to pick up a seed bead, a 4 millimeter, and a seed bead. A seed bead, 4 millimeter, and seed bead. I'm going to come to the back hole that I just added, which is this one here, and I'm going to come back down through it. Let me turn it this way so you guys can see it. I'm going to come back down through just the back hole and the seed bead right below it. So I'm not actually going through the back hole here at the top. I'm going through, or I'm sorry, the seed bead here at the top. I'm going through the back hole and the seed bead, just like that. So that when you pull, now it should look like this. You're going to continue on through the pearl you were just coming out of. And then to get into position for the next triangle, you're going to go up through the seed bead and the back hole that you just added. So I'm going through the pearl, then through the seed bead and back hole I just added. Coming out of the back hole, I'm going to pick up a seed bead, a back hole, and a seed bead. I'm going to come to my next pearl in the circle and I'm going to come back through that pearl coming towards the beads that I've already added. To get into position for the next part, I'm going to come up through the seed bead and back hole that I was previously coming out of. down through all three beads that I just added. So I'm going to go down through the seed bead, the back hole, and the seed bead. And then I'm going to continue on through the next pearl in the circle. I'm going to pick up a seed bead, a back hole, and a seed bead. I'm going to come to the crystal that I previously added, which was this one here, and I'm going to go down through the crystal and the seed bead right after it. I'm going to go through the pearl I was just coming out of and then through the seed bead and crystal that I just added. So go through the pearl and then through the seed bead and crystal. Every circle will have six pearls. Every circle will also have six crystals. So I have one, two, three, four, five, and six. So I have all the crystals in my circle. I'm also gonna have six seed beads. I've got one, two, three, four, and five. So I need to add one more seed bead right here in the hole to finish up my circle or my flower. So I'm going to pick up one seed bead and I'm going to come, this is my last bicone I added, this is the first one. So I'm going to come straight down through the first bicone that I added. So I'm going to go down through the bicone and the seed bead so that when I pull, I now have my circle of six seed beads in the center. I'm going to come through the pearl right below where my thread is exiting. So this is the very first pearl that I started with. And then I'm going to go up through the first seed bead and bicone that I started with. All of this looks good except for the center circle here and it looks a little bit jumbled. So we're going to go back through all six seed beads again, pull in tight or just talk just enough to, you know, pull it together, going through all six. And once you've gone through all six, 
it pulls it together and it looks much better. I'm going to go until I reach the pearl opposite where I started, which is here. So I'm going to come down through the bicone and the seed bead there above it. And then through the pearl. This now gets me into position to start the next daisy in my band. Just like this one counted as number one that was attached to the watch band, this bead right here will count as number one for the second circle. So you're going to pick up five pearls. So one, two, three, four, and five. And you want to come back through the same pearl you're coming out of to make the circle. So I'm going to come back through the same pearl so that now I have a second circle. I'm going to continue to go through all of those beads again to reinforce. And then back through the first one that I started with here on the base is what I'm going to call that. Just like we did here in the first one, you're going to pick up a seed bead, a four millimeter, a seed bead, a four millimeter, and a seed bead. I want to come back around to make my circle, so I'm going to come back around through this very first pearl here and pull. So that now the beads you added lay on top of your pearl. You're going to come up through the first seed bead and crystal that you added. So I'm going to come straight up through those. You want to pick up a seed bead, a four millimeter, and a seed bead. You're coming out of the crystal, you're going to come to the next pearl, and you're going to go back through it so that you're going towards the beads that you just added. To get into position for the next circle, you're going to go through the seed bead and bicone. through the beads that you just added here, all three of those beads, and then on through the next pearl in the circle. You want to pick up a seed bead, a bicone, and a seed bead. Here are the beads that you just added, so you're going to come down through the bicone and the seed bead. To get into position for the next circle, you're going to continue on through the pearl, the seed bead, and bicone that you just added. So through the pearl, and then through the seed bead and bicone. Pick up a seed bead, a bicone, and a seed bead. You're going to come to the next pearl in the circle, and you're going to come back around so that you're coming back towards the beads that you just added. Come up through the seed bead and pearl right above where you're exiting. 
through the seed bead, bicone, and seed bead that you just added. And then on through the next pearl in the circle. You're going to pick up a seed bead, a bicone, and a seed bead. Come back around and go down through the seed bead and bicone, or bicone and seed bead that you just added. And then to get in position for the next go round, you're going to go through the pearl you just added and up through the seed bead and bi the pearl and then up through the seed bead and bicone that you just added. Mm. So again, I have my six pearls. I have one, two, three, four, five, six crystals. And I have one, two, three, four, five seed beads. So I need to pick up one seed bead. Here's the last bicone I put on. And I'm going to come to the very first one. And I'm going to go down through it, through the seed bead, or the bicone and the seed bead right below it. And pull that so that it pops that last seed bead into place there. I'm going to go through my pearl right below where my thread is exiting. And then up through the seed bead and bicone right above where my thread is. So that now I have two flowers so far. And I've got to go through these center beads again, pulling tight, so that way it'll finish up and draw up that circle and make it look better. And I'm just going to continue on until my thread is exiting out across from the pearl opposite where I started. So I started this circle here at this pearl, so I want to exit out onto the opposite side here. Now, when you're making the watch band, this is the size here that I normally make to wear for myself. It's a little, it's between a seven and a seven and a quarter. And it takes four total flowers, plus one tiny little box that I'm gonna show you how to make here on the end to do that size bracelet with a toggle. The original one that I tried, or no, I'm sorry, this one is the same way. If you know that you want it bigger, you can add another circle. Another circle, the reason I just make this little box here on the end is because another circle makes it too big. So you'll want to continue until you reach the desired amount of circles for one side of the band. And then I'm going to show you how to attach the, my last box and the little clasp. So continue on until you get there. Once you have your circles added, this is what the band should look like. And you want to be exiting out of the last pearl here on the end so that we can add your last loop. To add the last loop, you're going to pick up three six millimeter pearls. You want to come back around through the same pearl you're coming out of to make the circle. So you'll go back through just that one and pull so that it makes a little square. Again, I'm going to go back through the three beads I just added to reinforce.
Now this time, I'm going to pick up a seed bead, a crystal, a seed bead, a crystal, and a seed bead. So seed bead crystal, seed bead crystal, seed bead. I'm coming out of this pearl. I'm going to go to the opposite pearl and I'm going to go through that pearl basically the same way that my thread is exiting here so that my beads lay at a diagonal. So I'm going to come to the opposite pearl and I'm going to come through it this direction so that when in all actuality the tails would exit the same direction. So that your beads sit on top just like this. You're going to pick up a seed bead and a crystal. You're going to come through this middle seed bead here that you added previously. And then you want to pick up a crystal and a seed bead. And you're going to come back to the pearl you were originally coming out of. And you're going to come back through that pearl to finish out that X shape on the top. So that you got this right here. You stitch through two pearls. And now you're ready to add your clasp. So you're going to pick up five seed beads. Your wire protector. So I'm going to go up one side and down the other side here and go ahead and pick up one part of your clasp. Make sure it goes inside of the wire protector and pull. I'm going to go through the seed bead right before my wire protector and pull it so that it brings it down to the base completely. I'm going to pick up four seed beads. I started the clasp on this side of my box so I'm going to come back to the other side and go through that same pearl I'm exiting so that when you pull This is what the clasp should look like. And you'll want to go ahead and reinforce this a couple of good times, about three times or as many times as your wire protector will allow you to go through. Once you've gone through and reinforced, you're now ready to tie off this side of the watch band. So I'm going to go under the thread between two beads. So I'm going to go under the thread here between my two six millimeter pearls. I'm going to leave myself a little loop stick the needle through the loop and make sure it's not caught around anything and pull and that gives you a little half hitch knot. I'm going to go through and I'm going to tie a few of these half hitch knots throughout the piece and then I'm going to trim that thread and you'll want to repeat all these steps for the other side of the bracelet. When you finish your watch band this is what it should look like. As you can see, with all the different color combinations, there's so many different fun things that you can do with this pattern. So I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope you enjoyed making the, the watch band. So thank you for watching this tutorial on how to make the watch band. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I want to say hello to my friend Mr. Schroeder down in Florida. This video was specifically for you, and I hope that you got some ideas for stuff that you could make for some Christmas gifts. So be sure and check back later on this week as we're going to have a bonus video on how to make some little tiny pocketbook charms. I hope you guys have a wonderful week. I hope you're getting prepared for Christmas and getting those projects done and finished and ready to uh, to go under the Christmas tree. And we'll talk to you later. Bye. Mm -hmm.